G'day, g'day, lads and lasses, it's your boy, Lucas Gintoki, back at it again with another Drunk Chronicles. That's right, obviously, you know, same deal, same mood, same place, yada yada. Uh, well, today we're going to be going with another Lotus Peak drink. We're going to be going with a popping bubble tea, apple and passion fruit. And it's, uh, it seems to have like, you know, a little bit of... Yeah, it's got the passion fruit there up at the top. It's got the apple down the bottom. Now, got all the different colors, got all the different things going on. Uh, anyway, big can, you know. And I think you gotta like, uh, they're, they're like, oh, you gotta shake it. That's what I didn't really do last time. I didn't shake it. Yeah, serve chilled shake well before drinking. That's what I didn't do last time. That's why uh, all the tea was at the bottom, uh, all the bubbles were at the bottom, you know. Oh, that was intense. Anyhow, let's have a look. Ooh, I think something just dropped in there. You know what this kind of looks like? Looks a bit like piss. Anyway, cheers. Mmm. Oh, this is good. This is nice. It's like a nice little, uh, it, it, it's honestly just like, it's more of a juice than it is a tea in my opinion. Yeah, that's more of a juice. It's pretty good. I like it. It's like, uh, it's definitely like, you know, I, it's, it's pretty much, you know, Pretty self-explanatory apple and passion fruit. It's pretty, it's all right. Anyhow, we're going to get, get the sound getting into it. I'm not all there, am I, today? Anyhow, cheerio. Oh. I can feel those bubbles now. Pardon me. They're still going to just go straight to the bottom, though. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Whoa, that took a lot of me. Maybe we're not wrong about those bubbles. I'll try and catch one and show you. If I can. They basically just like pop. Look at this. It look, it kind of looks like a like what caviar or something like that. Well, not caviar. There's like a thing it looks like, but ooh, ooh gee, I literally just spilt it all over myself. <laughs> literally just spilt it on my thing. That's how it popped. It just popped the other way from what I wanted to. What I was going to show was something like that, you know? It's literally like a... Like an like, like a extra passion fruit juice in it. Uh, kind of like an orange juice almost as well. Apple and passion fruit made with fruit juice. What's in the bones, I wonder? I don't know, I guess like fruit, just like fructose in general or something like that. It's like a juicy flavor. Anyhow. Ah, oh, that'll be it. But honestly, man, that's not too bad. That's a uh, good flavor. Good flavor. Not not too amazing, you know. Not not up there, but pretty pretty all right. Pretty all right, you know. Personally, I think I'd give it about you know like a three, maybe a three and a half out of five. It's you know it's all right. It's all right. I think it's uh, something to look forward to, especially with those little pops, you know. 
you, know, you got the little popping bubbles and they go pop, pop, pop in your mouth. You know, it's a bit like having it's it's like something different instead of being like, oh yeah, I got to chew on them, chew on like the lychee balls or per, uh, the lychee pearls or whatever. They just pop in your mouth. They're like pop, like a like there's a there's a there's a term for it. I can't figure it out right now though. Anyhow, pretty good stuff. Can heavily recommend it. This uh, poppy, uh, popping bubble tea, uh, apple and passion fruit. And uh, we'll leave it at that, ladies and gents. Hope you have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.